Some websites have been absolutely crushed recently with Google's helpful content update, whereas other websites seem to shrug it off like it's no problem. And I want to figure out why, and Mediavine here is an excellent place to start. They offer premium display ad solutions on websites if you have 50,000 visitors a month. And this here, do you know what this is? This is pretty gnarly. This is every single person in their program. And what that means is these are successful blogs. Do you understand over here? They have actual URLs, right? MyBumpToBaby.com. These are websites making money online. They have 50,000 visitors per month or more. And guess what? It's open to anyone in the public. So if you were ever wondering, oh, how can I make money online? Just go to the list and start poking around. Now, what we're doing is going to Ahrefs chart. We're going to see organic keywords. Do you see the orange, right? Orange denotes organic traffic. And you can see this website right here, that this little spike down, that's definitely an HCU thing, helpful content update. But if we were to go to each of these websites, yeah, we could say the blog roll on this website, on the homepage, and then this one here, we could probably pick out some things. And this is the one that got hit with the HCU, but they have, you know, original photos, they have real content. And then I pulled this one out too, show me the yummy, let's look at their chart. Show me the yummy, I think it has a lot of traffic. Yeah, this one right here, 137,000 per month, and they didn't really get hit too bad. But the point is, it's very hard to tell what the heck is going on here. But lucky for us, Google has the Google Search Central. I mean, you have to take everything with a grain of salt, right? But there's some good tidbits here, debugging drops in Google Search traffic, right? And they have, look, 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 look. Site level technical issues look like this. Does yours look like this? That's a site level thing. In other words, your whole website could be tanked for one thing. It says, uh, this website kind of stinks. We don't like it. Boom, that's what that chart looks like. This is seasonality. This is page level technical issues. So algorithmic changes. We're seeing a little bit of this too. Reporting glitch, it recovers. What type of things are you seeing on your website? Now I can only speak from personal experience. This is one of our clients' websites. We started with them around February. All right, you see here, click 790. We, we're doing decent, right? We're doing pretty darn good. Up here, I thought maybe we we're gonna have some issues with the helpful content update, but it looks like we're recovering. So then this bears the question, okay, the HCU didn't get this website, how did we do it? And this one here, just for another example, this is a smaller website, Bonsai Mare, you've probably seen this one, right? But you have to realize, because I have a YouTube channel, there's branded searches, Bonsai Mare and Bonsai Mare, right? If you were to omit those, this graph still looks similar, it just decreases by a factor of like 0.75. But this website doesn't seem to have been affected greatly by the helpful content update either. Now you may be wondering, why the heck am I looking at sheep? This is an SEO video, but there's a very, very particular reason. Because sheep, when they go to eat grass, they do it together as a pack or a herd. What is the right term? A herd? Maybe a herd of sheep? I don't know. But the point is, whenever I go on an SEO campaign, I pretend we're like sheep and we're going to work together. So one hub of articles say we're going to write about cameras. We are going to write about one specific, say a Canon camera, one at a time. We're going to extinguish, we're going to exhaust that topic before we move on. Now this is the Ahrefs chart of the first website I showed you, and I want to be very clear. We did 220 blog posts since February, so that's about eight months, right? Eight months, 220 blog posts. What is the quick math on that? I don't know, but we're pumping out content weekly, and we do not stop. And the same goes for Bonsai Mary. As you can see, our sessions are up a lot, and here's the Ahrefs over the last year. But as you can see, the DR is a 25, and that means that this website does have some backlinks coming to it because it was an aged domain. But here, I wanna show you something. Let's go to posts. Let's go, this is the back of Bonsai Mary. You can see we've published 444 articles. We have scheduled out already 11, and the drafts, if I were to click here, drafts, there's 52. And guess what? We have an SOP, a standard operating procedure, where we can draft out, we can schedule out blog posts, and just kind of forget about it. Now, this picture is very important. Of course, it's the thumbnail for this video, but look at day one, structure website. This matters so much. I encourage you to pretend you have a pack of, oh, excuse me, a herd of sheep, right? And demand of the sheep to eat the grass together conquer a sub niche within your niche one at a time and you tie them together because look on day two we can publish a million blog posts not a million but 500 blog posts in one day is is possible in fact in the auto blogging 
masterclass. This is exactly what I do in front of you. And I do it two times. I translate it all to German. And we have a German domain, a new French domain coming up. Things are going to change in blogging. If you are struggling, listen, if you're struggling to get 50 blog posts out per month, right, or even per year, I know some, some people like that, things are changing in front of you. But I want to be clear. If you structure your website right and you think like a sheep, a pack, a herd, or whatever of sheep, you can start to dominate your niche. Now, sometimes we can take on a bad attitude when Google shows us things. In other words, we all have a sour taste in our mouth because of the helpful content update. But look, this article is good. You really should consider looking at this. So it says, look for patterns in pages affected. So if your website was affected by the HCU, what you can do, and we'll do this live together, you can come here, you can go to compare, right? Compare, let's say, the last 28 days to the previous period. But what's cool is, you know, this graph is not terribly helpful, but what you can do is you can come down here, and this is what is cool. So I can sort by, we can identify clicks differences. We can see which pages really have popped off. For instance, this page is doing really well. So we could click here, we could see, oh, Great, this is one of our strongest pages. It's really, really doing well. And the inverse is, oh, darn, clicks difference minus 19. As you can see, this website didn't take a huge hit. It didn't take a huge hit, but I could say, all right, let's just open up a few of these and see which one could we improve a little bit. You can see I have double featured images. That's an easy low-lying fruit to take care of. But this is the number one blog post that has taken a hit. So let's see what we can do to revitalize it. Now to revise, we're definitely gonna be using Dolly, but before we do, I just started on Twitter. So if you're on there too, please follow or subscribe or whatever the word is. I'm not very good on that platform, but I'm trying, I'm trying, so help me out there. But nonetheless, Dolly's pretty darn good. So I gave it just a subsection of, where is it? It's not that one. It's this one right here, the ultimate guide to Jade Bonds I care. That picture kind of stinks when you compare it to something crazy like this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on this article here. How can we make it better? So over here to the post, the featured image is this one. Let's replace it with something really good. And what I did, I asked, I asked ChatGPT right here at the bottom. I said, can you provide one more image that is 1200 pixels or a 16 by nine ratio. The reason is because Google Discover really likes that. So consider using that for your SOPs moving forward. Ask me in the comments if you have any questions, but we're gonna set the featured image there. And then we need to make sure this first section is pretty darn tight. But first let's go on with pushing some images. Let's do one thing at a time. Image, boom, right here, image, uh, library. Let's do this one, that looks fun. I rename all of the files. I'll show you on the next one, so watch here. So let's say we come here, let's do image, boom, image. Let's come here, media. So if I click on this one right here, you can see to the right, it says Jade Bonsai with Sunray's Hidden Leaves. If you use just what is out of the box when you download this right here, look here, I download this, it's just gonna say up here, Dolly, blah, blah, blah. That's the file name, you need to rename the file because these type of things, Google knows, it can see it and it understands the internet more or less from these things. We should be putting alt text in, but that's okay. Look at that. I mean, not hyper realistic, kind of, I like it. I don't know, what do you think? Is that too much? Is that ridiculous? Uh, let's do one more photo and then we'll get to revising the actual content. And then we're going to uh, tap on uh, Google's shoulder and say, you know, please consider re uh, looking at this so we can rank a little bit higher. So that's cool. So let's update that one right there. When you update, it's highly unlikely Google will index it that quick. There's our featured image. Very nice. We have a video. I like videos. There's the next one. That looks super good. I mean, goodness gracious, all of a sudden we're cooking with fire. So what are we going to do next? Now I put about five minutes of work into the words of the article because words matter so much on page SEO. This is what we're talking about now. The amazing Jade Bonsai Plant Completed Guide updated. Do you see how that's like pizzazzy? It's like in your face type of thing, a headline. The title tag is what shows up on Google. If you make it kind of like that, you have an opportunity to get a higher opportunity, in my opinion, to get on Google Discover. We did other things too, like the meta description. We're leaving the slug alone. But I also made the first, the H1, right? I made it a little pizzazzy too. So let's see here. Let's go here. I'll show you what this post looks like now. We have a nice new featured image. The uh, the file name for it is nice. Let's just look. Oh, I see a little thing there. The bold has to be revised. But let's just look. I mean, I, I like it. It breaks it up, a lot of white space. My eyes are not straining from just blocks of text. Look, it looks nice, bolded. This is different color than this. I like it. Let's keep going. All right, 
look at that AI image. Let's just stay there for a second. Jeez Louise, that's cool. Um, types of fertilizers to use. Jade Bonsai. I did say this in the last video with Dolly. I don't know the legality, the, the, the licensure of those images, so, so be careful there. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. We're just using it as an experiment, but this looks really darn good. So now we push it to Google. And just like that, Index has been requested. It shows Google this is a new page that we revised. Not new, but it's a revised page. So if you like this, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please check out the Autoblog and Masterclass. The speed at which we do these things makes it so we can scale as if we had a team of 10 people working for us and the affordability is just it's it's laughable it's so ridiculous nowadays we could not have done this a year ago technology makes blogging a whole different game